They are doing it yet again. The Legends panel hasn't been aired in two months. Count them, people. T-W-O. The number that comes after one. Where the hell is it? Frank Taffy, what are your comments? All I have to say is, they can deem J-Lo an icon, but they keep chopping King B. This is why I only watch Got To Be Real. Beehive in this biatch. Well, keep watching it. Now cut his damn mic. Better yet, cut his damn life. Uh, you in love at the moment? Um, well, I've heard that there's a, there's a person who, when they ask them about their personal life, they just do this to them. Who does that? Wait a minute, I they should know that. They don't need to be I'm... mean. They don't want to be mean. They just don't want to talk about it. But me, I would have to do that, but I would start laughing. <laughs> that, that's not you. That is, that's Avril Lavigne. She would do that. Really? She's oh, I wasn't it. talking about her. And the person I was talking about is actually really cool and... Christina Aguilera? No. Um, uh. but anyway. <laughs> OMG, it's the Legends panel. <laughs> Look at all of you. If it were 1995, I'd feel so lucky to be around such relevant names. Now, um... I know this bitch ain't coming for us. Not when her biggest achievement is the fact that she's been successful at cloning Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. I don't understand. Why would you come to the Legends panel, attempt to throw shade at all of us, and then expect us to deem you legendary? Like, does that even make sense to you? I just want to apologize for my actions during my previous appearance before the panel. I realize now that was not the way to go about getting deemed legendary. I just really hope you all can accept my apology. Kisses. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Allergies. I'm allergic to brown nosers. Hit you, Flap! <gasps> oh, excuse me. I'm allergic to Lotus. Ooh, Christina. She's coming for your album sales, girl. That's kinda low. Just like your album sales! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to get that Kiki in. Y'all go ahead. That was funny, though. Anyway, unlike a certain howling wolf, I now understand and respect the fact that all of you have paved the way for me. I humble myself before you all. Is that Brittany Perry? <laughs> yes. Praise God. You're a genie in a bottle, and I must confess, I still believe that you will eventually find an error in your ways. <laughs> My lord told me you would come around. Yes, he did. Peace and shade. Be still. Well, obviously, Stiffney is trying to suck up to the panel, but I'm already a legend, so why am I even up for consideration? Um, I don't know what imaginary panel deemed you, but it wasn't any one of us. And sweetie, trust me, you don't have to be up for consideration. We can chop you right now and get it over with. If that's the case, Mrs. Rhythmless Nation 2014, why didn't you get chopped before you said your flop ass on the panel. I'm sorry. You have reached a person who doesn't give a damn. Please check my fucks and try your shade again later. If you need help, please hang up and find someone who gives a shit. This shade has been recorded. <laughs> Anyway, someone is missing. Where's my good sis Mariah? I know she has plenty to say about at least one of our nominees. She's here. <laughs> Sorry, dolls. I'm a little tardy. I was helping Nick pack up his toy box. He didn't want to leave. It became a whole thing. Anyway, we're over that moment. So who's up for... Who left the dark door open? Obviously. The cat drug that in. Yes, it did. Kitty Little. Team Frisco. Praise Arm and Hammer. Christina Aguilera, oh, how are you, darling? Congrats on your baby girl. Or AKA your excuse to get off your diet and gain all 60 of them pounds back. 
Uh, thank you, Mariah. That's very sweet of you. Congratulations on the kids you had three years ago, too. By the way, we're still waiting on you to lose those additional 100 to 150 pounds that you put on, but I know it's not easy, especially when you're over 50. Sticks and stones may break Madonna's brittle-ass bones, but your words and lack of relevance have no effect on me, bitch. Unlike your current vocal ability on the elective fat cow tooth. Tour, my bones are not brittle, bitch. Oop, bro, it's about to be a heavyweight battle of reading up in here. Floyd Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya, bitch. You sound stupid. Fucking dirty, bitch. You sound oh, you know me? Oh, you know me? oh, oh shit. Oh. Then again, I'm pretty sure one of them can't read, so never mind. Prince. Please don't start. We're here to decide whether Britney or Christina are legendary or iconic. We're here to deem, not hear Christina scream. I'm sorry. Was that shady? It's not shade if it's true. Brittany, I'll ask you first. Why do you think the panel should give consideration to deeming you an icon or reconsideration to deeming you a legend? Well, first I... Okay, let's bypass her like the rest of the world did after 2008 and focus on me. I know this bitch just didn't interrupt me. First and foremost, I am the voice of my generation. You are the voice of ZX. Well, I am the voice, period. And I don't recollect deeming you anything of any generation. My first album debuted at number one on both Billboard 200 and Canadian album charts. It sold 2 million copies in the United States alone and 17 million copies worldwide. Not to put your genie back in the bottle, but my first album, Baby One More Time, sold 2 million copies in one month. It has sold 30 million copies worldwide. And the single, Baby One More Time, sold 500,000 copies in one day. So, <laughs> there's that. Britney, bitch. Got anything else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have this receipt. For best new artists are... Christina Aguilera. Macy Gray, Kid Rock, Britney Spears, and the best new artist is, come on, come on. Christina, Christina Aguilera. Touche, bitch. But who needs a Grammy when you have reached the levels of success that I have? Basically, they're buying Grammys these days. Ask Beyonce. I caught it. Did y'all catch it? Anyway, did I neglect to mention that my first world tour grossed over $40 million? Did I also forget to mention that I signed an $8 million promotional deal with Pepsi? At the time, the biggest Pepsi deal since Michael Jackson and Madonna. Still thirsty? Bitch, how can anyone be thirsty with all of this delicious tea currently being spilled? Did you say tea? Because I want some. What is that? What kind do you have? Is that lipped or is it chamomile? We don't have any tea. We do have coffee, though. Oh, okay. Well, who made it? Diana. Oh, well, let's move on. I don't drink from cups of failure and despair. Not me. Not Whitney. Oh, Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. I don't have a cup, so I unfortunately can't find an ounce to give a damn about how you feel. Ha ha ha! You don't have a cup, but I bet you have a flask of Jack Dang. Tell me, is your license still suspended or not? Nah? Stay out of the HOV lane. Yes, that's right. Well, Whitney, tell me this. Do your eyes still hang low from the chiefin or not? Nah? Where there's smoke, there's Whitney. Cut it out, you two. Leave that in the 80s. Goodness, we are legends. We have to set a good example for the next generation of lessers. I mean artists. 
next generation of artists. We have to show the world a panel of unity, not shade tea. Shade of tea? Bitch, what? Um, can we return the focus back to why I'm an undeniable legend? Your voice is the distraction, so it's easy to lose focus, sis. Let's discuss Lady Marmalade and how it stayed number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for five weeks before the accompanying video was even released. Wait, we're discussing the features and duets now? I mean, okay. Yes, we are. In fact, let's discuss how the same song won me my second Grammy. When did you win your first Grammy again? It's true. I didn't win my first Grammy until 2005, but I think we've already covered the fact that I don't buy Grammys. Senility at the age of 33 isn't a good look, Double X, Dina. Well, neither is stiff dancing at the age of 32, but carry on, babes. <laughs> The point is, when you've had the success that I've had, you aren't pressed about being recognized in an industry that you dominate. Actual talent and genuine success, or auto-tune vocals, inflated sales, and no real ability to entertain anymore. Let's see, which would I choose? Given your career and mediocre talent, I would say you choose. Look, I'm trying to let you be great, Pariah Scary, but there's not too many more times you're going to sit up there and come for me without a chauffeur. And, to be quite shady, Ariana has already replaced you in the music industry, babes. Why, thank you, Christina. <laughs> By the way, I love you. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, people are saying that I'm the new Mariah, so I guess that would automatically make me a legend. Child, praise God. Um, okay. <laughs> well, if not a legend, obviously my career thus far warrants icon status. Child, obey God. You know, I love... The new generation. I love how they are completely unaware as to what real music and longevity in this business details. I love the fact that their careers have ended just as quickly as they began. As a general rule, Diana, do not speak unless spoken to. Now learn how to stay in your place, because I just taught you how to get in. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Praise instruction. And would that place be 10 steps ahead of you? Check your Google Maps, sweetie, before you come for me again. <laughs> I caught the Holy Ghost about a week ago, but it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Damn, don't be like your Central Park concert and get rained on. Please, you two, for God's sakes. Now, Adrian... Is it? How could you possibly be deemed a legend or an icon? Your career barely warrants you being deemed a statement. Statement? Bitch, she's not even a subject verb agreement. She's not even a dangling participle. But she is, however, an adjective. Irrelevant. And that is your English lesson for today, darlings. Class dismissed. Can we hurry up and chop or chop? I mean, um, Dean, <laughs> Shitney, and Scream Tina here. This is cute and all, but yo, I have a $500 million fortune to protect and a future ex-husband to this own. These things, like love, take time. Well, what do we do? Do we deem Britney and Christina icons? Do we give consideration to deeming them legends? Or do we chop both or just one of them? Moi, je ne bois que la vérité. <laughs> I love, 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 love women who are able to make a name for themselves, to carve it on the wall of relevance, and not have someone come and put a plaque over it. Oh, Mariah, I didn't smell you there. Oh, no, that is not the phrase in Anglais. So, um, I didn't hear you there. But mostly because your microphone is turned off. No, this still is not right. How is it said in English? Oh, I remember now. I don't see you there, ma chère petite vache. Bitch, the shade just went from 1,000 to 1 million in 3.5 seconds. Girl, it's about to get shadier and messier than the comment section on thatgrapejuice.net. And bitch, you know it doesn't get messier than that. I'm about to get my everlasting life. Oxygen, bitch, oxygen. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching the newest episode of the Legends Panel. We'll be back with part two very soon. In the meantime, we want your input. Should Brittany and Christina be deemed icon, legend, or should both of them just be chopped? Cast your vote.
Go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the Legends panel, like the page, and let us know what you think. The final decision is ours, but your votes will have an impact on what we ultimately do. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back soon. You about to vote, bitch! Prince!